not that he can take it because he's had to have a bit of treatment he's come off Hasrovic curls one and it's wide no real alarm for Mitchell Pini Really astute stuff that from Andreas Christensen, just making sure he got in the way, ensure the contact would be made. Beanie wants a touch. Oh dear, what's he done there? It's a gift, this, and it surely must be 1 0 Arsenal. Well, he's recovered the situation. Serge Nabry really should have made it 1 0. The danger's not over yet either. Icefelt back to Nabry. Beanie scoops it and breathes a mighty sigh of relief. As soon as he took that first touch, you knew Beanie... Victory over CSK in Moscow. Came back. Saying that they played it a bit longer than he thought they would. Or more often. This uh, Farouz has found a bit of space and he's gone for goal as well. He wasn't far away. Ambitious. But when you've got his talent, why not? Yeah, that's for sure. Is Adam and DT. Really had a chance to see him go yet. Yeah? Uh, he's doing it here, albeit not down the left wing. Lost cheek. Boga, who can do that, and he can do it well, Boga. Nice little dummy. He's got it back. A little bit of luck, a little bit of judgment. Farouz diving in too. And whenever anyone dives in on a goalkeeper, it seems to be a foul. Full ball from Hayden. Missed judged on the bounce by Adam and DT. It's been a bit of a sloppy start from both sides, this. But Bellerin is through here. There's, there's no flag. It must be 1 0. It is. Chuba couldn't miss from there. Well, they've started the better, and now they've got their goal. Terry Burton's side, one up in this semi final. It's a good ball, a very good ball from Gnabry, and Bellerin's run was perfectly timed. The flag rightly stayed down, and it's a tap in for Akpom. An error strewn 16 minutes here. And at the end of those, Arsenal come out on top. It's always Lewis Baker. Now that he's got the armband on, there's no way anyone's going to take it off him. He's pretty good at these. Can he find another Baker? He very nearly did. That's twice we've seen Ilyev. Give and go with Akpom was the plan. I just felt somehow still ended up with the ball again. Far left wing. Curled effort. Straight into the gloves of Beanie. Nicely done, Farouz. Then Boga, and Farouz again, and Boga. And look at the space, wide left and right. This is Connor Hunt. He left the ball behind. Whistle's gone. Whistle's gone. That's a waste. Imagine that, an equaliser. Baker doing his best to get stuck in there, the skipper. Apo. Riding forward, finding Connor Hunt, taking on Bellerin, and he's got past him here, Connor Hunt. Still going, great chance here for Loftus-Cheek, that looked like a foul. Indeed it is. Penalty, and rightly so. First time they've got him behind. And the card out for Gnabry for the challenge. And Chelsea. Big moment in this semi-final. Up comes Baker. Oh, it's saved. Rebound. Is he? Islam Farouz. Arsenal want an offside flag. They're not going to get it. The next gen's top scorer has done it again. He's bailed out his captain here. That's a good stop. Even if it's a, a decent height, it's pretty much in the corner, isn't it, that penalty? Ilyev makes his first save of the game, and it's in vain, because Farouz was first onto the rebound. Some people just know where to be inside a penalty box, and Islam Farouz is one of them. It's Gnabry, and the wall does its job. 
Ice will still have five up if the cross is forthcoming. Icefelt has taken up a position there. No one picked him up, thankfully. It was given away, but it's been given straight back again. It's a nice spin. Good save from Beanie. Still going, Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Progressive stuff, this. In the end, uh, ran into Olsen. So gone one too many. Carl Ebersilo. Anger from left back. Oh, it's a good pullback. And it's a gift of a chance for Olsen. And he has skied it. What a miss. Back pump. Papo in the way. Boga wriggles free. Brilliantly done. And still going, Jeremy Boga. He's overhit the pass for Kiwomia. That's a shame, but the chance is still alive for Chelsea. Just past the hour mark. This is Kiwomia. And that is a shame. Did the hard stuff, Boga. Just really overhit the pass. That's ambitious. It's all the way in. <laughs> Lewis Baker, speculative at best was already turning away and what a terrible terrible error from Dejan Ilya said his belly had a save to make but Chelsea needed to fire in a few more shots at him and maybe the surface has helped Chelsea there the keeper did not get everything behind that it is a slightly low bounce but still it's a howler and Chelsea are ahead Papo, little flick from Boga. Verruz. Told you they always find a way to score. It's more about the back door than uh, anything else. If they can keep, uh, keep a lid on Arsenal, they should be fine. Here's Kiwamia. He might have gone down there, you know, it's three! What a turnaround in this second half! Eight minutes, three goals. And Chelsea looking on top for the final now. And Arsenal don't know what's hit them here. Brilliant work from Kiwamia. And there was Boga around the back. Or a just past the hour mark. Now, definitely just keep the lid on it. Here's Kiwomia. How much will Arsenal go gung ho? Verruz with the confidence now. No flag on Kiwomia. And Verruz again. Deflection on that. Off anger. Chelsea's corner. Ilyov came out and. Uh, to make sure he got everything through that. It's worked out well here. And thank goodness for a terrible touch from Ebersilio. As, uh, Arsenal should have been in there, and they may still be. This is Olsen. Never enough curl on that. Youth Cup and next gen. Big part of the focus developmentally for these Chelsea boys. The under 21 and youth league games have. Uh, in terms of results, have gone downhill a bit, but that's only to be expected. A lot of games going on, a lot of players rested or not able to play. Here's Lewis Baker, meanwhile. And Crooker again. You can see what he was trying. Use Nico Yanaris as a shield and bend it. Vasilio thought he was in for a moment. Kevon was back helping out. Here's Ormond. Hayden. Nabry, good hit, but straight to Beanie. Got plenty behind it, so did the Chelsea goalkeeper. Good position. Can make another change if he wants to, Dermot, just to uh, wind things up that little bit more. Here's Hector Bellerin. Zach Anser has rolled Danny Papo there. Anser gets the ball in. 3 2. And Arsenal have three and a half plus add ons to rescue this. 
Answer did well. Danny Papo got sucked in. And Akpom's there again from that similarly predatory range. Can get ready for an all out assault on the Chelsea goal now. How much added time we're going to have. Swift with an important footing. Musonda can't keep hold of it. This is Brandon Ormond. Now Yanaris charged down by John Swift. Away by Davy. And then not very well dealt with by the captain Lewis Baker, it has to be said. Bellerin again. And Chelsea are deep. Of course they are. Navri now. Great chance. It's 3-3. Three, three, and Chelsea have chucked it away. It felt like it was com coming. Sloppy defending from the Blues again. Papo a moment ago, and now Lewis Baker's header, and they're just in too easily. They're defending so deep here. He's gone round Kevin Wright like he wasn't there, Serge Gnabry, and it's 3 all. the final and they might well not do chance to win it right at the end there sliced in the end by Nabry they do have any residual tiredness I suppose only either Aston Villa or Sporting Lisbon can be the beneficiaries are they young enough I'm sure they can handle it Alex Kiwomia has burst through a hole there, and he's still going, he's got Farouz in the middle, oh, he's put it wide. It was neither a good pass nor a good shot, it's a massive way. Kiwomia's done well there. This is Swift, still going John Swift, trying to find some room. There wasn't a chance to get that ball over to Farouz, there might be now though. Oh, didn't he do well, Swift? And it comes from Baker. Alex Davy with the first head on it. Kiwomia either pulled out of his volley or missed it completely. He's done well to, to get the uh, loose ball, though. It's back with Baker, who can cross well off either foot. Great chance for Farouz. He's made an absolute mess of it. Such a fine finisher normally. He stayed down as well. Answer trying to go all the way. Plenty of welly. No direction though. It's a lot of people from Baker, don't see many of them. Here's John Swift. Getting tired now. Swift's been good since he came on though. He should be uh, a bit fresher than most. Here's Kiwamia. There is Swift. Farouz is in the middle. Swift must be it is! Lewis Baker makes it 4-3. What a game the captain's had. He's missed a penalty. He's scored a freakish goal. And maybe here he scored the winner. We haven't looked like having one in extra time here at either end, really. Neither side's threatened much. But you've got to say, it's no surprise it's come from John Swift. Baker, yes, will get the credit for the goal. But John Swift deserves a bundle of it. It was all his work. 4-3. Can Arsenal come back again? It's Arsenal's throw, but I don't think they're going to have time to do anything here. Whistle's in the lips, whistle is blown, and Chelsea are into the next-gen final. My goodness, they've done it the hard way. Incredible game. Most of the drama happening in a roller coaster of a second half. In the end, the skipper is the match winner. Lewis Baker's goal, though, only a very small part of a very long and twisted story here in Como. Incredible game, and Chelsea have won it by four goals to three.